that's a wrap. Now the long trek, long journey back, back to the farm, and uh, so we'll get up here. We'll we'll get things unhooked. Uh, I think we got enough bodies to get everything moved. Probably gonna have to make a few trips. And uh, that's that. So we still got quite a bit of corn up here to go, but it, we we shelled some the other day, and it was, gosh, it was still 30%, and I don't want that, so who knows. Anytime time we get to it, it may, I don't know if we'll get, if we can get a couple points out of it, that's, who knows, we may get more than that, I don't know, but, you know, it's turning cold here, I don't think we're going to get any more heat, so probably going to be close to 30 or we'll get 25. So anyway, we're going to jump the road here, unhook the heads, get everybody organized, and back home. <laughs> All right, last field of beans. So here we are. Well, we're back shelling corn, and uh, we didn't get much done yesterday. Had a had a minor setback Saturday. <laughs> just a little damp and it's just it's catching right there so we got the service truck heading this way and we're gonna cut her off done done messing with it so she got to get out every time it wraps and it shells there shells the head you know shells all the corn there just balls up so we're gonna fix it <laughs> up breaking the drive dog on the bottom of that cart. We've done that before. And we're gonna see if we can't the auger's full so we're gonna see if we can't position the head underneath and uh, try to catch it. Alright so we got that top part of the auger cleaned out. It is headed into the shop because we're going to need a forklift, pull it up, throw a new dog on the bottom, and now I need fuel, so let's go fuel up. Just don't get much done with the combine. 
trucking that far. So, anyway, we're back, back rolling. Another day, we're in another 95 acre field today that uh, about half of it's down. So we're gonna have to use a reel on it, but we got some good standing corn here. So we ran down to our local John Deere dealership, AHW, and gonna rent this little bitty guy. Isn't that cute? Kinda itty bitty. So just to relieve some pressure and keep things going. So sense there's I call them curb feelers out on one row out here and that follows that root ball and we've been in some stuff that's even worse than this and I mean, there's nothing standing and so I just I run these snouts all the way to the ground they're just bumping the dirt I mean you take a chance of folding one under done that a few times but we got to get the corn so that that just runs the bottom of the ground and it just follows follows that root ball that that stalk pretty amazing yeah, just yeah you couldn't do it without it so but we're I don't know we're still 230 wet 20% uh, Still running about three mile an hour through some of this stuff, so which isn't bad. I've been normally running good standing corn, four, four mile an hour, 4.2, something like that. So, yep. All right, guys. Harvest is done, complete. Back in the shop. Got the trucks unloaded. <clears throat> We've just got got quite a bit to do, but concentrating on getting the fall tillage done right now and uh, the shop is a mess so that's kind of what we're doing now we're just changing points greasing uh, still hauling grain still moving so trying to make room like I said we've still got all our trucks loaded it's been just been a hectic year but, uh, We've got what well, we have four or five inches of snow out here. And, uh, pretty big snowstorm that rolled in, and that's why Saturday when we were showing, we were we were determined we were going to get it done. We were going to get it on wheels, and we did. So, as you can see, we've got we got a cram packed, but and it's a mess, like I said. But we'll get her we'll get her back to normal. So we're just, like I said, working on <clears throat> chisels right now. So 